you much. Thanks a lot. I deserve it. I really do. I'm very good. <laughs> I was having a shower the other day and I made a discovery. I realized that when I'm having a shower, not only I use body wash, but I also use shampoo. <laughs> and always the same type of shampoo for thin and delicate hair. <laughs> like maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> not anymore. Um, I'm also, I'm like, like Chantel, I'm turning 40 this year. <laughs> yeah. I think I was the only one who was applauding at that one. Yes! We were almost there! Which kind of sucks. I'm not happy. Actually, kind of stressed out about that. And it's not because of the number in itself. There's no difference between 38 or 42. It's because of the celebration. You know, Chantel said, I'm from Spain. I'm actually from the Basque Country. But if I were in my hometown, I would just have dinner with my parents, have a few drinks, and just go to sleep. Here, you gotta make a big deal out of it. You gotta have a fucking limousine picking you up. You gotta fucking rent a house in Napa Valley. You gotta hang out with 30 friends. I don't even know 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I have to work that night. <laughs> fucking don't tell anyone that it's my birthday. Fucking have some macaroni and cheese, go to work, shut up. Boom. Just like that. And unlike, uh, unlike Chantel, I don't have babies. I don't have a family, which kind of sucks. Because I want to have babies, I want to have children. But there's one thing that is good out of that situation, and it's that my body still looks pretty good. Everybody knows that. <laughs> After having babies, your body doesn't look the same. <laughs> Wow, you guys got the punchline before you even said it. That's, that's good. That's good. Um, other thing that is kind of different from 20 years ago is that uh, I don't have the same power. And I'm meaning sexual power, kind of a fucking different thing. It's either that or my penis has principles. <laughs> and I think that's the problem. I think my penis is a fucking asshole that screws me every time that he can. I was about to close the deal with this awesome girl, and and the guy goes like, forget it, I'm not doing it. And I'm like, what the fuck is the problem? She's got a boyfriend, okay? <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, go to work. <laughs> a few years ago, I was in Mexico, 2 in the morning, Tijuana, Mexico, about to close the deal with this awesome woman, there's 30 bucks. I'm not very proud of this shit. <laughs> and my penis is like, are you kidding? Just forget it. It's not gonna happen. I'm like, what the fuck is the problem now? She's filthy, okay? I'm like, shut up. She's a fucking hypocrite. One time I didn't have a shower for five days, and not only he didn't complain, he was actually pretty happy. He was like, I'm a stinky penis. I'm a stinky penis. <laughs> <laughs> fucking douchebag penis that I have. It's pretty cool. One time I tricked him though. I took two Viagras and I had sex with a black woman. He's also racist. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. And I was like, take this, bitch, shut up. <laughs> I tricked my penis. We have a Canadian here. Someone was talking shit about Canadians earlier. Sorry about that. We're very sorry. Uh, so, uh, there's just a few people who are from out of town, right? As someone I was asking for a round of applause, just a few people. It's, uh, it's great to be in this city, it's great to be in San Francisco, but one of the things that backs me of this city is that people have opinions about it. Even my dad, before I moved here, my dad told me, are you going to San Francisco, really? But San Francisco is a town of gay people. I told him, whoa, 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 San Francisco might be lots of things, but definitely it's not a town, it's a city. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off, guy. <laughs> but it's true, it's, it's a town of gay people, that's true, but that doesn't make any difference to me because I am a very open man minded person, but my friend Mike, like older people, needs to make a point out of being straight. The other day, I walked inside of a restaurant with him, and the hostess told him, are you guys together? He said, no, we're just friends. We're just, oh, you mean for the table? Yeah, we're together for that thing. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Fucking Michael. Um, I like it here. I like it. One of the reasons why I like it here so much is because uh, there's a lot of dog culture here. People love their dogs, and they do it too, because dogs are happy and playful animals. Actually, if you think about it, dogs are like uh, like people, only that they are short, hairy, and loud. Actually, if you think about it, dogs are like Italian people. <laughs> It's true, but I'll tell you a lot more wrong, and it's 
the price of avocados. Two dollars a piece. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Three dollars for a tomato. Seven dollars for a carrot. Come on. <laughs> Too much money. Um, I was um, I was a few a few weeks ago. I was dating this uh, this woman. I I liked her a lot. You know, well not really, but. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is that uh, when I'm having sex, I like it rough, <laughs> right, kinky, whatever, that's what it is, that's how I like it. And uh, and before I even know, there I am, like fucking pulling her hair down, like pushing her head down to the pillow. And she was encouraging, she was kind of fucking kinky too. She would put her hands in the back and say, arrest me, Mr. Officer. <laughs> and there I am, like a fucking asshole, thinking that I'm in control as if. Well, anyway, so I got carried away in this situation, and I'm like, take this, whore. She completely it stops the action. My cock goes like, boom, boom. She turns around, and she's like, what did you call me? I'm like, oh, sorry, baby. I thought it was part of the deal here. She's like, that was disrespectful. I thought, how is this disrespectful? Just two minutes ago, I was choking you, and you were fine about it. I mean, you would think that someone who is fine about physical abuse would be fine also about verbal abuse. If you give me the option, I'll take verbal. If you give me the option between punching me in the face or calling me asshole, I'll take asshole. What's the other option again? Punch in the face. So I'll take asshole, just to give me asshole. <laughs> Even if you want to take this to, this to the extreme, you want to call the cops. The cops are going to come to your house and they're like, oh wow, did he call you whore? That's really bad, but uh, what happened with your black eye? No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kinky twisted a hole. <laughs> what is this? Is my time already? I guess I'm going to go. Hi right, guys, thank you so much. My name is Nick Ominara.